I just spent a lot of time mowing the various yards and now I'm going to show you the garden. It looks like getting a lot more melons. The one here and one there and there's one where is it? I zoomed in too much. Oh, it's right there. Hard to see. Anyhow, um, lots of very big tomatoes. These are probably baseball sized. Lots of melony crawlers around here. These are acorn squash, which I should have a whole lot of uh, up at the top here. And then, as we come back, get a little closer. Hey, look! More tomatoes. Surprise. Um, help me with the word here. Sweet potato. Potatoes doing well. This whole aisle here is sort of encroaching. We're having encroachment issues, so I'm not sure what I'm going to do there, but they're even crawling out down some of the other uh, rows. So. I uh, will decide what to do with these paths later. Uh, a couple of yellow squash. Um, a couple of branches that are just too heavy for the poor plant to hold up. So I'll tuck that guy in there. Perfect. This is another cage that's just sort of clomped over. We'll get that standing later. Corn. Um, let's see, what else is exciting? Oh, we have some peppers here. We have some fallen peppers over here. See? Doing pretty well. And that's pretty much it. Lots of tomatoes. Say hi. Hi. How you doing? Do you want a tomato? No, thanks. Do you want a pepper? No, thanks. Do you want a zucchini? No, thanks. What do you want? I don't like any of those. What do you like? I like... Peas? No. I want candy. Candy. Alright, I'll see if I can grow some. Okay, so where was I? These, you know, these might be the bushel gourds and not the loofah. So it's going to be interesting to see what these turn into because if those are all bushel gourds, they might get heavy. Um, beans, definitely need to ha have some picks. Um, I just picked a bunch of peppers. Definitely not a peck, nor are they pickled. And I'm going to pick those two tomatoes. But outside of that, there's still lots of green. I think a lot of it might be because we're, we're getting so much rain. Um, sometimes that just makes plants grow and not necessarily fruit. So we shall see what happens. I'm going to be out of town for a week. And I'll show you what happens to all this good stuff in a week. And as special final footage, I'd like to share with you the creepiest looking tomato so far. I have no idea what kind that is, but we shall see.